So my name's Corey Porterfield. Um, I'm here at my shop close to Chinook Center in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, we're doing a Tesla. This thing is sexy. So uh, what I like about this car, it's fit and finish is premium. Uh, it's worth every penny in my mind, but I don't own one. Uh, this is a client's car and we are PPFing it in uh, paint protection film. So basically it protects from rock chips and damage, okay? And what it's gonna do for this car is give it that beautiful finish for a long time. So right now we just finished the hood. You can see the actual edge here. We've cut it back. We'll roll that edge over. But what we did first was pretty interesting. We use this little clay. It's kind of like plasticine. And what it is, is it's called a clay bar. You get it at an automotive shop. And what it does is it takes off all the little bits and they stick to it. So when they stick to it, they come off of the car. So they're not in the PPF material because of course it's clear. You can't even tell this hood's been done. Job done, you know? If it's perfect, you can't see it. If you can see it, well, it's not perfect. So uh, this car will actually do the fenders in full, the hood in full, the bumper as a kit, and the headlights will be custom. The mirrors, the package tray. That's what you need. So this is a premium package. Um, getting a full hood is amazing because what it does is it actually will protect any of this from a rock chip or damage or something flying and hitting it. You can even put a purse on it if you want. You can obviously tell the owner, great guy, he doesn't actually have kids. There's no way he has kids. You know how you know? Because the interior is white. <laughs> I have kids, there's no way, you know? So uh, anyway, you gotta, you gotta come and see this car because this is pretty. This is really well done. Elon Musk, my hats go off to you, all my hats, because this is a nice car. So if you guys come over here and just come in behind me here, I'm gonna open the door and you can check out this interior and I mean, that right there is baby soft. I don't think it's leather. I actually believe it's from the space shuttle because it's so sweet. Any bubbles are getting trapped, so you have to overlap your passes and it's super important that you do that. So really systematically, basically squeezing all the air out of it and the water too. Mm. Cause you don't want those bubbles in there. And I guess like the goal is so you don't see it at all. That's the goal. If mm -hmm. it's invisible, you've done your job. If mm -hmm. it's super noticeable mm, and it's got to protect too. It's got to be a 100% protection, right? Whatever it's yeah. doing. And then the other tricky part of this is Use a knife on paint. Hmm. Mm. I wonder how that's gonna fare, right? Not so, good. and 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 <laughs> it, yeah, if you don't do it right, I mean, it's like surgery. It really is. It needs that kind of a touch. Remember, if you go through the paint, you go through the primer, it's gonna rot. Like that. Of course. Yeah. So that doesn't work out, right? So in that little mist over top acts as a lubricant, so it's easy for him to work. He's, he has tool slides, otherwise it sticks, kind of like rubber, rubber to rubber. See, I'm trying to cut with such a delicate hand still, <laughs> but uh, I should really be, be digging in a little harder.
So, this piece mm, might get used for something small. So we'll hang on to it. But we will cut another one. And this is made by 3M. This is not 3M. This is nope. another product called S-Tech. S-Tech, okay. S-Tech. So the problem we're having right now, we would use be normally using 3M. We can't get material. So mm. what do you do, right? Still, the client still wants their car protected. So we try to get the best material in the market. 3M is the best. Definitely hands down the best material, but uh, can't get it. So we'll use something else. Some bait and switch that happens where um, some guys advertise 3M, but don't put on 3M. Mm. That's kind of a no-no. And so is there like a supply shortage then? There is right a now? supply shortage. Oh, right, because they're making like masks and stuff now. Well, the other problem we have is uh, it's not just Corona that's the problem, but the freezing that happened down in Texas, they use this factory there for making the glue. And so mm. the glue, we had the freeze, killed all the plants. They don't have the, the crop to actually create the product. So we got a problem. So very close trim, Chad, the old silver, silver box here. That looks great. So can you hear that? Oh, that's just lovely. Yeah. That's basically saying I am just breaking the surface. You can see it's separate. That right there, boys and girls, is the sound of success. There's nothing there, but actually there is a film and it protects those from all kinds of debris and keeps them from getting damaged. So a rock a replacement headlight on there, probably like seven or 800 bucks. Mm -hmm. Like if you had to replace the plastic, not only that, but it's also UV protecting it. So it doesn't smoke out as fast mm -hmm. either. Okay. So you that. get lots of benefit out of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's amazing. It protects it from rock chips, protects it from bugs protects it from uh, the UV that's gonna break it down. Mm -hmm. So you still have that nice crisp light, you can peel off the material after and the light's perfect.
and then you can see the lines look almost invisible. You can just see it there. And you, of course, you could hear it squeaking. Mm. And then it's back a little bit here, and then tight on the bottom. to make sure you lift and you tuck. don't put no, no tension it has to it has to tuck tuck in like that moisture I'm looking for the moisture but I'm also pushing the water out and then drying it up at the same time so you can see it squirting out there <clears throat> and you don't want to have it over squirting you got to make sure that moisture is coming out of there and you can actually feel it what I'm looking for is I'm actually looking for the water coming out of it and also the bubbles coming out of it I'm giving it a car massage a little, yeah. And then, <laughs> of course, we got to do, we got to take it out. Little lubricant, right? Double check it. Make sure we got nothing in there. And I'm pushing hard. The rubber's making a big, big difference because it's yeah. protecting the car in the paint. But I'm actually pushing pretty hard. We're done the squeegeeing of that guy. We're done. So now it's, it's trimmed. Great. Now it's great. It's great. really great. This. And then it gets trimmed off. Chad is going to decide. Expecting for um, every time for any little crumb, and you want to make sure you've got overlap so you don't want to miss an edge for whatever reason. This is all custom. So, so and what I'm doing here is actually working from the center out, pushing that, that moisture out of there. So you can't tell, but the hood, the fenders, this has been done, these have been done, you can't tell. Impossible. Right, Chad? Right. Unless you got a magnifying glass, then you can tell. <laughs> but other than that, you can't tell.
such a cool car. Tesla is gone. That was an amazing project. 
That thing turned out mint condition. Uh, huge thanks to Chad, he did an amazing job. Uh, of course, we got a lot of help from Charlie the dog. He was, he was absolutely instrumental in the quality of that project. Um, and that's it. We're ready to roll another one in tomorrow. So come on down, come and see me, rollingbillboard.ca, and we will get you all cleaned up and ready to go for winter. Thanks.